so now then we give it the training xml path os.path.join faces folder training.xml it just says that uh, append the path of faces folder to this training.xml so it indirectly says that into, into this faces folder go to that training.xml so uh, maybe yes so that training.xml is already there i can open it open with you can open it with any notepad word editor so let's see it what it looks like so okay so training.xml basically gives the information about three uh, four images these are the four images images image which ends with the name 63 79 09 and 22 okay let's see 63 09 79 and 22 so these four images will be used for training so what it does let's open this image image has been opened now we can see there are how many faces in there are uh, obviously there are seven people then there should be seven faces it is giving us the seven rectangular boxes of the faces so what it does is uh, it uh, defines the top, top left coordinate of the face and the width and the height so so it says the x y coordinates here and uh, up to here it uh, defines the rectangular box over the face so this is showing us the same so this has been defined already defined for the seven faces so likewise for every image it is here for 79.jpg 09.jpg okay likewise testing xml path contains testing.xml folder so testing.xml let's look at this also open with wordpad so this also defines the rectangular boxes over the images which contains image faces now this function does the actual training delib.train simple object detector training xml path then this, this is the path of the finally trained svm so uh, this path is not having any base directory to it so it will by default save this in the in the place of the file where the file is located so this uh, train simple object detector will accept the uh, training xml path detector.svm what will be the uh, name of the output detector and the options which we will be using during training let's try to run this So maybe there is an error let's see what is happening it is showing module delive has no attribute load rgb image okay we are getting problem while loading the image so we can use any other functions for loading image there is a library named scikit-learn which is very helpful we can install it go here and uh, search packages on the not installed click on type in scikit learn scikit image okay we are going to install scikit image click on apply apply okay so scikit image has been installed we can check it here by clicking on install so okay it has been installed in this environment now we can import the useful function from there from hk image import io so instead of using delib load rgb image we are we are going to use io.im read okay and uh, we are going to run this in a external system terminal click on run 
okay the training has started it is iterating from the images so this is 58 60 78 iterations it is doing actually this is showing the risk gap objective gap objective okay training complete trained with c is equal to 5 okay this is the this is showing the result on the first image hit enter to continue as soon as i hit enter it will change the image actually this is showing this hog filter which was learned so it looks similar to face and it is quite nice okay uh, let's leave it here now i will press enter it should change the image and show us the detections on the new image okay the detections are quite well okay hit enter to continue one more image it is iterating to all the images so it has missed faces in some places some places or i should say many places it has missed we can get get good accuracy and we will be using larger data set so hit ent enter okay it is showing results on dogs so it is not detecting any faces of the dog thankfully this is the false detection here okay so we have just uh, executed the whole program the train object detector should have saved the detector.svm here in the python examples yes so it has saved here it has saved this file this is very light file 43.6 kb so we can use it on uh, mobile applications also uh, now that we have a phase detector we can test it so it has done this it has executed this code actually the first statement tests it on the training data so obviously on the training data it was showing quite well test tested on the testing data it is giving us the testing accuracy testing accuracy is reported from the delib test simple object detector first argument is the xml path so it uh, gets the uh, true labels and also the predicted labels and it calculates the testing accuracy now let's use the detector as you would in a normal application first we will load it from disk so it, it, it loaded the detector.svm into a new variable detect name detector then it was just a visualization of the filter there was a filter black and white filter uh, so this is creating a window Win detector, win dot uh, delib dot image window. So it it creates a, an empty window. Then win dead dot set image detector so, uh, uses the detector detector's output as an image and displays it on the screen. So now let's run the detector of the over the images in the folder and display the results. So showing detections in the image in the faces folder. Uh, win is equal to so this creates an, an empty window using delib image window function for f in glob dot glob os dot dot path dot join so it basically iterates from all for all the images in the folder print processing file it reads the image then it runs the detector over the image and returns the detections and for every detection it it prints the left top right and bottom and then it, it creates an overlay of over the image and then it inserts the image in the window and it uh, sorry this line adds the overlay detections over the uh, image and it clears the overlay actually by default it clears the overlay because for every image the window is being refreshed and after the image has been displayed with the detections uh, it waits for us to the to hit the enter okay uh, 
the next is uh, quite simple actually it shows how we can use the two detect detectors on the same image I will be going through it in the next tutorial because we will be creating our new own object detector with our own training images so it just says some documentation about it that we just need to put our images into a list and uh, define the box boxes manually we can define the boxes or we can use the there is a nice program also we can create our own bounding boxes so I will be showing it uh, in the future video so that's all for today uh, for training the face detector thanks for watching this video stay tuned for more such videos if you like please subscribe if you haven't done yet thank you